Once you have open code sys, go to new project. And we're going to select standard project to get started. You can name your project at this point and just check the location and make sure it's the right place. Hit OK and then wait for it to load. Okay, from here, we're gonna select our device and we're just gonna use the code sys control, the built-in software, and then the ladder logic. Hit okay. And we'll notice on the left side, our devices, this'll be our main control tree. To get started on writing our program, we're going to select PLC PRG for our program. So double click. Okay, up at the top, you can see all of your variables. And on the right side, there's a toolbox. If we open up ladder elements, you can see all of the tools and elements we can pop in up at the top. The toolbar also has the same elements. All right, let's drag a contact into our ladder logic diagram and just put it on start here. Double click the question mark to label your first input. We'll call it button one. And we can now declare our variable and change variable types. And uh, for now, we'll just leave it as a Boolean true false variable. Next, let's select an output and place coil connected to the button. Make sure it highlights green before you let go. Double click the three question marks and then type in the name of your output. Press enter, and again, you can change your declaration of your variable here. We'll leave it as Boolean. You notice at the top, our variables are listed. We're going to test our project, click simulation. Notice at the bottom right, simulation has turned on. Then go back to the online tab and click login. This is now going to try to download our program onto a virtual device. We'll hit yes. And then wait for the simulation window to pop up. All right, our program is loaded into our simulation software. Notice that it's stopped. If we double click our button as an input, we'll check our prepared value as true. Now, when we go to our debug menu, we can hit start. And now this is starting the simulation. What we haven't done is written the values. So we need to make sure that once we've prepared a value, we go back to the debug menu and then write our values or press control F7. Now we can see our output is true or on. We can also do this in reverse. So we could write the values and then run our simulation. So let's stop. Let's change the value of our input. Now that the prepared value is false, we will write the value first and check to see our value is false and then start our cycle and immediately it will do the action. Okay, we can log out. And then again, we need to uncheck simulation mode. See the red box in the bottom right go away. And we can go back to editing our program. Don't forget to save your project.